I'm Dr. Nikhil Silgi, consultant surgical gastroenterology, laparoscopic and robotic surgeon working at Manipal Hospital, Whitefield. Today we are here to discuss about chronic pancreatitis. So chronic pancreatitis is a condition where the pancreas goes into chronic inflammation due to repeated trauma. The reasons for the commonest etiology or the reasons for patients developing chronic pancreatitis can be in India, the most commonest cause is alcohol intake. So the more the duration of alcohol intake and more the quantity of alcohol intake or binge drinking, these are all risk factors to end up having alcoholic related chronic pancreatitis. Apart from this, the other reasons for chronic pancreatitis includes genetic, tropical, so these are the most commonest ones and then the, the last one can be idiopathic. The idiopathic pancreatitis is a condition where there is no known etiology or a aggravating factor or a precipitating factor causing pancreatitis. The male population is more prone to develop chronic pancreatitis compared to females and again the middle aged people are more prone compared to the other age groups. The most commonest symptomatic presentation is upper abdominal pain and usually pain is very severe in intensity radiating to back. Most of the patients have this aggravating factors when they consume a lot of fried item or a fatty meal the pain aggravates and it radiates to back. In the severest form they end up having multiple episodes of vomiting. So these are the most commonest presentation. Apart from this a patient starts developing weight loss. The weight loss is here because because of steatorrhea. Steatorrhea is loss of fat in the stool. As the chronic pancreatitis sets in, the pancreatic function gradually decreases. Because of this, there is malabsorption. So people tend to present that they are having a lot of stools which is floating on the commode and having multiple episodes of stool which is sticky or oily and losing weight in spite of good uh, diet. And apart from this is new onset diabetes mellitus where the sugar goes up and needs medication. So these patients are evaluated using CT scan, ultrasound abdomen and MRI scan to know the exact damage which has occurred to the pancreas and whether there are stones in the pancreatic duct or in the parenchyma. If there are multiple pancreatic duct stones which are seen in the CT scan or an MRI, depending on the intervention, we take the treatment. Initially, the treatment is always medical. First, if someone is alcoholic, we ask them to stop taking consuming alcohol and then put them on painkillers and sometimes antioxidants which will prevent further damage to the pancreas. If people are not responding to medical management, then we think of interventions, either it can be medical or surgical. Medical management includes endoscopic clearance of stones or pancreatic stenting. Surgical treatment depends on the load of the stones whether it is in the proximal part of the pancreas or a distal part of the pancreas. Depending on that, we offer them surgical intervention. The most common surgery offered them is phrase procedure. Phrase procedure includes where the pancreatic stones are completely cleared and the head portion of the pancreas is cold out so that that is the foci for the pain occurrence. And then there is a new bypass made. Even if there are stones formed in the pancreatic duct, it gets slipped into the intestines. The pain relief in a patient who have undergone phrase procedure five years down the lane about 85 to 90 percent are pain free if they don't start consuming alcohol then they have pretty good quality of life with good control of weight and diabetes so the risk factors if not treated it's a pre malignant conditions they would end up developing pancreatic cancer so I would like to suggest people who have above mentioned symptoms to contact your doctor and rule out chronic pancreatitis thank you